Hi, it's Rachel with Stirring the Deep. I've been talking about obedience to the wisdom of God. And when you walk in that obedience and that wisdom, you're walking in the purest of love. And when you walk in those things, that's what your life is. And it is so important because a lot of people have come from religious backgrounds. And when you start really seeking after the truth, after the true creator, who, as you get to know that spirit, right, that is of the purest of all our desires, the purest of love, of peace, of harmony, of mercy, of righteousness, of holiness, all these things, when you start desiring that, you have to disconnect from religion. So I don't associate with any religion, meaning claiming that is what I'm a part of, even Christianity, which is very different from being a follower of Christ, okay, and all that he brought us and has taught us. Because the, even the religion of Christianity has so many, it's man-made doctrines and interpretations and rules of who they, and images, right, that's full of a lot of different things. So in every religion is like that because it's man trying to define the spirit of God and put images on it, right? Even images, and what I mean by that is like, okay, so when you think of a Christian, what comes to mind? Going to church, a certain kind of perception on life. It's, um, you know, you have kind of this whole kind of image of what they look like and what their lives are like. And when you really want to know the wisdom of God, when you really want to know the true Father, you have to get rid of all that because that is all putting a veil between you and the Father and really knowing Him. So in order to get the eyes to see Him, which the eyes to see are everything, then you have to remove those things from your life. So you have to disconnect from everything that man, people have established in the flesh, in this physical world about God. And you have to, that's what it means to come to God and worship Him in spirit and truth. He is spirit, you come to Him in spirit and truth. So for me, it is simply this desire to seek truth from the Creator, because you can see this world was made with amazing intelligence and wisdom, and it has this order and structure to it. it just is amazing. It reflects the characteristics of its Creator. Okay, and that's where you see this longing that people have for the deepest of love. And so you see that it's really created in love, although it's been very corrupted. But what happens is as you dive into really seeking that, and you start getting rid of those images, you start understanding the dynamics of what's working. And you start understanding the difference between how there's this different wisdom at work here versus this wisdom that's pure, that's of the Creator. And so you've got to get rid of all those images and let go of all that and just seek it in all that purity. And what you find, and what I have found, is the Bible... The words here are a testimony and a light to that wisdom. They reflect that wisdom when you understand it, when it's taught to you by the Father, by that Spirit that we've been given as that instruction to us, the Holy Spirit as our instructor. So when you start learning that wisdom and learning from that and under and you do that in all things in your life including the bible so you go and you read it and you trust him to teach you and even in your circumstances in your life and again you're always seeking what is love what is how is that manifested how is peace manifested how is mercy manifested how is righteousness in your life because when you understand those characteristics you're embracing god the father that heavenly father the creator of us all and as you start embracing those characteristics and understanding those truths, that wisdom, it starts to be created in your life. And you start abiding in that. And when you're abiding in those beautiful things, that is abiding in the presence of God because that's who He is. 
then you're starting to engage his spirit. And that is a very powerful place to dwell. And that is the kingdom of God, is dwelling in that presence, in those characteristics where they are a part of you because you have sought that wisdom and that understanding and let go of everything of the world. Okay, because that's the difference between the two wisdoms. So it's, it's so important to put aside all the religious doctrines. And when you start coming and seeking that the Creator, the Heavenly Father, you, um, you have to be willing to relearn everything. And say, because that's what I understood. When I started seeking, I started seeing the lies that had gotten from the church system. And I was like, wow, okay, I see the bondage that you created, the lies and the harm. So I started seeking that wisdom of God from above that was so pure. And I was willing to let go of everything. Okay? And that's the point that you have to get to to really learn. And there's a lot of people that hold on to these doctrines. But as it says in 1 Timothy, that if you do that, that will seal, sear your conscience. I mean, you're no, you can't you no longer hear that wisdom where God counsels you, which feels like your conscience, you're tuning into a pure conscience because you're tuning into his pure conscience, which he wants to give you. So if you can tune into that, if that's what you desire. But if you're holding on to these false doctrines, these false images about who God is or what that image of being a godly person is or what that means, then it's going to keep you from knowing him. So it's so important to let go of all those things and just be a seeker of truth. Forget the labels, let go of all that stuff and purify your spirit so that it's just about you and the creator and learning those things of the spirit. Till next time, keep stirring the date. It's the one thing that changes everything else.